One of the red boats, and that's what we'll be saying throughout this heat probably, coming through our turn right here. And even at this distance, that may have been a five on the deck. Didn't I, I, look like a seven. Deck. Yeah, it looked like a five. So that's J. Michael Kelly. Here's Brian Perkins coming through the Sea World turn. Tom Thompson just off to his left, and that's Chartreuse and Blue, 11 Peters and May. Jimmy Shane coming up the backstretch in the one, the Blue and White Home Street Bank, our current and recently crowned National High Point champion for 2016. Following him up will be Andrew Tate in the U9, and uh, now we know that is Jeff Bernard on the backstretch. About halfway up and going about 80 miles an hour. Coming up on the two-minute mark, we're at two minutes and 15 seconds to the start of the race. Position on the race course starts to get critical right here. Couple of boats coming through the infield. Brian Perkins, I believe, and Tom Thompson were those two. Thompson is going to come on to the back stretch. And he's going to be right next to... He's going to squeeze Jay in Michael, right beside yeah. a red boat. We think that's J. Michael Kelly. And Kelly isn't going to let him have lane one. Thompson is going to turn left and head back through the infield one more time in the Peters and May. And that is J. Michael Kelly coming through all the way around this SeaWorld turn here. A minute 38 now to the start. They can establish lanes and probably maintain them for a minute and 30 seconds all the way around to the start-finish line. We see a blue boat out ahead of the field. Jimmy Shane, if he's in lane one, he'll be in great shape. He'll have to slow down a little, burn off some time here. A minute 23 coming, to the start. Coming behind him is Andrew Tate in the Delta Real Track U9. Shane is swinging out. He's giving up the inside. Now he's going to come back in and take it back. He'll swing over into lane one. And Jimmy Shane appears to have lane one in the U1 Home Street Bank. There is a traffic jam behind him. Four boats in about two lanes, and somebody got into a rooster tail. And now we've got a, it looks like maybe a collision. Everybody moving Tom out to Thompson the Thompson went through a right. rooster tail twice to the inside and then back to the outside. And I don't know if we had a collision between the 9 and the 11 and maybe even Brian Perkins in the 21. He's on the outside of that group coming down. We have a red boat in lane 1. Put your binoculars on him. Is that J. Michael in the 7? It, it is the 5. That is J. It Michael is, Kelly in lane 1 now with... Jimmy Shane off to his right in lane two, and then Andrew Tate, our top qualifier, out in lane three. Sure. The rest of the field coming up from behind now, coming down to the start. They are early, 18 seconds. You had a lot of warnings for 80 miles an hour coming up here. <laughs> On the inside, J. Michael Kelly is early. He has to slow down, and Shane also has to get off the throttle. Andrew Tate will have a little more boat speed out in lane three. He wasn't quite as early. Three, two, one, mark. There's the start. J. Michael Kelly and Shane were both down on speed at the start. They got to the line a little too early. Now they are racing down into turn one. Watch the red boat on the inside. Can J. Michael Kelly get the rooster tail up and keep the lead here? Jimmy Shane has the lead by a little bit at the apex of the first turn, Mark Allen. There is a review on the start as well as they come through the turn. That first time around, five laps, and you've got six unlimited hydroplanes coming straight at us up the ski beach side on the back stretch. J. Michael Kelly, but it is Jimmy Shane who's leading them, and right next to him is Andrew Tate. Brian Perkins got his nose out there as well, and so does Jeff Bernard on the outside. Jimmy Shane is your leader in the U1 Home Street Bank. Into the Sea World turn. He's at the apex. Off to his left, J. Michael Kelly is back just a couple of boat lengths. Andrew Tate is back more outside in lane three. We are waiting for the call. The start is under review. They were very close. They were very early. Someone may have jumped the gun. We will know shortly. Meantime, Jimmy Shane leads it at the end of lap one, Mark Allen. And Brian Perkins took a lot of water. He is down on speed, and now he's got it back up, and Tom Thompson has taken some water and his boat is starting to do some compressor stalling as well as they come by us and the sea world turn but your leader right now j michael kelly went through the rooster tail he went through the rooster tail of jimmy shane now he is not underway we think the red boat has stopped in the water down in turn one shane coming up the back stretch in lane two with tate running to his right and back almost a rooster tail J. Michael Kelly got loose down in turn one and got into the rooster tail of Jimmy Shane. He may be dead in the water down there. We'll see if he comes by. And we're told that uh, Jeff Bernard jumped the gun. It's not going to affect this two-boat race at the front of the pack, though. So a great race out front now with Jimmy Shane leading it. 
and Andrew Tate in pursuit. Tate was our top qualifier. He has been very, very fast all weekend. Can he run down Jimmy Shane? J. Michael Kelly coming by now. Part of his rear wing is missing. Got it hydraulic off when he went through that rooster tail. Down in the turn. Now watch the leaders. Down in turn one, Shane is your leader. He can move over to lane one, and he does. He has Tate running to his right in lane two. Tate is not catching Jimmy Shane at this point. Our national high point champion is leading this to winner take all final heat. As they come up the backstretch, it is Jimmy Shane about a rooster tail ahead of Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate looking for a perfect weekend, and right now he has not got it. He is in second place by a full rooster tail. Coming up behind him is J. Michael Kelly in the five, Graham Trucking, but he is uh, almost a full straightaway behind, and Andrew Tate is not catching up to Jimmy Shane in the U1 Miss Home Street Bank. Shane had been frustrated a couple of times with young Andrew Tate driving away from the field. It looks like he's not going to let him do it this time. Jimmy Shane has established a lead in the U1 Home Street Bank. He opens up a little more water on Andrew Tate now as they cross start finish one more time. And as they come down along Ski Beach, you can only see one of those red boats, but it is actually J. Michael Kelly is in the rooster tail. It's Jeff Bernard that's leading him, although J. Michael Kelly, who got washed down a little bit, went through a rooster tail and he's now catching up to his teammate on the inside. Tommy Thompson comes by, sputtering a little bit. The turbine engine there, not healthy apparently. Once again, the leaders coming toward us, Mark Allen and Jimmy Shane just legging it out there. Andrew Tate has been able to catch him and pass him in previous races. He's not doing it here. It's all blue and white out front. Jimmy Shane in the home street bank. Andrew Tate running second. More than a rooster tail behind now as they head down to start finish to complete another lap. Remember, this is a five-lap winner-take-all final. And this is the white flag lap. They've completed four right there as Jimmy Shane crosses the finish line. The red boat's coming by us now. The seven Graham trucking comes by, missing part of his rear wing. And then the five Jeff Bernard right behind him. We believe they are in positions three and four on the race course, even after getting washed down or going through a rooster tail, as J. Michael Kelly did, Tom Thompson coming up the race course. We still have five boats running, so we're down one. We're down Brian Perkins, and we're told that his steering wheel came off. That would be a problem. Meanwhile, folks, we have a half a lap to go in the 2016 Bay Fair, presented by Home Street Bank, and the leader is Home Street Bank, Jimmy Shane. One turn to go. He goes through the Sea World turn. Andrew Tate has dropped back a little more in the nine. It's Jimmy Shane turning it left for the last time. Mark Allen down to start finish. He's going to win it. He's going to win the National High Point Championship, the final race of the year. All good for the folks at Home Street Bank. And Jimmy Shane crosses the line. He will get the checkered flag right there. Second place will go to Andrew Tate. Gave it a great go, just didn't have the speed in this heat to keep up with Jimmy Shane. Third is going to go to J. Michael Kelly. Regardless of the damage on his race boat, he's going to have a podium finish here. After a great run at the Gold Cup in Detroit, he'll be disappointed here. Something happened down in turn one. We couldn't see what from our angle, but J. Michael got into the rooster tail, and we're not even sure if it was Shane's or Tate's or what happened down there, but he definitely took him out of this final heat. Tom Thompson comes by. He'll go around to finish. In fifth place, sounded like uh, that boat was not healthy here in the final. So it'll be third and fourth for Team Porter and the Graham Trucking Team. The winner, Jimmy Shane, is coming right at the Home Street Bank hospitality area. Give him a wave as he comes by. Congratulations to everyone involved with Home Street Bank on a great, great season. A wonderful sponsorship, a tremendous job representing your business, your company, and one of the top race teams in the world, the 2016 national champion of the Mike's Hard Lemonade H1 Unlimited Racing Series. Well, an exciting race, and the race before the race, Steve Montgomery, got real serious as we had a whole pack of boats coming up the backstretch and a couple of guys trying to squeeze their way in from the infield. It would be interesting to see an overhead view of exactly what went on down there. We saw Tom Thompson go through a rooster tail and then come back through the same rooster tail, but he kept the boat running. I'm sure he ingested some salt water in the course of doing that. Right below our pit tower, the Home Street team 
welcoming their victorious driver back to the dock. All that's left now is to hand them the big trophy and say congratulations on a great season. Winner of the first race of the year, Mark Allen, they bookend it. They won the first race in their hometown of Madison, Indiana, and they finished the season here in Bayfair with another big victory.